Hey, welcome to our second workout Wednesday. My name's Roberta and I'm from Jefferson's alumni office. Thank you so much for joining us for today's workout. We are joined by Paula Beatty, an alumna from our College of Nursing. And she also holds a bachelor's degree from Penn State in nutrition and a master's in public administration from the University of Washington. Paula is a certified trainer from the National Academy of Sports Medicine and owns her own company in healthcare consulting. She joins us from her home via Zoom in Washington. And with that, I will hand it over to Paula to begin our workout. Hi everyone, hope you can all see me. Um, welcome to uh, Edmonds, Washington, where I am today. As Roberta said, um, uh, we are all kind of needing some exercises. The COVID-19 has kept me sheltering in place for the last six weeks. So um, I am ex I'm excited to be exercising with you. I've been exercising on my own. As Roberta said, you're gonna need a few things today. Um, you are going to need some hand weights like this or an alternate, like maybe a bottle of wine or a handbag to put the bottle of wine in, or maybe some good reading material. You want to read about a past influenza, the 1918 one. Um, you're going to need those things, and you're going to need your water bottle. You're going to need mat or napkin, something like that. A chair that I'm sitting in right now that I'll get to in a second. You do not need your hand sanitizer, and you do not need your mask for today's workout. So that's good, huh? So um, if you saw my picture cycling through, I don't normally look like this. I decided I'd have some fun today and I'd channel Richard Simmons, for those of you who know he is. Um, he was all about loving people and loving yourself and this is called Sweat It Out. So we're gonna get started right now with a few warm up exercises and some things to just kind of get yourself going a little bit like I like to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some neck circles. So just circle your neck around to your left a few times. And then to the right a few times. Just wake that neck up a little bit. We've all been looking at our phones and computers a lot. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is some arm circles because we haven't been using our arms probably a lot. I do have a left um, shoulder injury. I need a shoulder replacement. So I'll be waiting for that. So if you see me not able to lift my left arm up, high, that's why. You're gonna take both arms at your side about shoulder height, and you're gonna circle your arms around forward. Okay, now backward. Okay, all right, we're just trying to wake up our body a little bit. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of stretch to one side, lean over that way, and take your arm and stretch to the other side that way. Gonna wake up our core a little bit, stretch a little bit, wake up, huh? It's only 9.15 in the morning in Washington, so. <laughs> okay, the next thing we're gonna do to wake our bodies up a little bit is something I call, it's called baseball swings. You're gonna take your hands, you're gonna fold them like this, like a fist, and you go to the right, go to the left. You're kind of turning at your torso here, so you're getting a little bit of oblique movement in from your side, side to side. You're also starting to pick up your heart rate a little bit, get a little cardio in. It's a low impact workout, but we're also gonna get our heart rate up a little bit too, because as Richard Simmons says, we're gonna sweat it out a little bit, right? All right, the last thing we're gonna do is something that's kind of like marching in place, but I'm gonna have you march in place and kind of march to the side. So you're gonna lift your leg up, go to the side like that, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, ready to work out? Maybe take a little swig of water. Okay, here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do some exercises. The first half, we're gonna be standing or sitting. The second half, we're gonna be on the ground. So no up and down throughout, just kind of segmented that way. First one we're gonna do is you are gonna need your chair. 
So your chair's here. And what I want you to do with your chair is put it, so you, you're gonna act like you're trying to sit up and get down, but you're not gonna use momentum or your arms. So I want you to cross your arms in front of you. You're gonna hold your stomach in and you're gonna try to sit down. You're gonna sit and then up again. I'm gonna do this 10 times. Stomach in, use your legs, down in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, ten. Good. Okay, we're going to come back and we're going to do that again. We're going to do things in sets. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your weights. I've got a five pound in my right hand and a one pound in my left hand because I have different capabilities right now. And what we're going to do is something called hammer curls. So once you take the weights and put them slightly in front of you, and you're going to lift them up to your shoulder and then back down to your shoulder and back down. That's two. We're going to do this 10 times. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, these are called hammer curls. The next thing we're going to do is actually going to do some side lunges. So, what I want you to do is I want you to step back kind of in front of your chair. And I want you, if you can put your hands on your hips, you can do that. I can't do that quite as well. But I want you to take your right leg up, kind of like to the side, and then spread it. Side, and spread, and lunge. That's three. We're going to do 10, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, and 10. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. Shake that out a little bit. Take your left knee, bring it up, and then out to the side. Up, two, up, three, up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Okay, it's our first set. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna do a little bit of cardio. We're gonna do something that I like to call air boxing. So you're gonna give it kind of like a right and a left hook. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. You can do it as slow or as fast as you want. Okay, start like this. And you twisted the waist a little bit. Get some little waist action in. Get a little aggression out maybe. Have some fun with it. You can go fast. You can go slow. Like that. We've got 10 more seconds. And then we're going to go back to those chair sitting and standing moves. Five more. Three, two, one. Okay. Ready to go back to the chair. Back to the chair. Again, you're going to cross your arms. Hold your stomach in. Legs down. And up for one and two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, okay. So what are we gonna do next? We're gonna do those hammer curls, remember? All right, you're gonna take your weights or your bag or your bottle of wine, and you're gonna hold your hands at your side with your weights, arms a little bent, a little forward. And you're gonna take them up to your shoulder, and then down, we're gonna do this 10 times. Two, three, four, Five, 
six, seven, eight, don't forget to breathe, nine, I forget to breathe sometimes, <laughs> and 10. Okay, good. Good job. All right. Next thing you're going to do is those side lunges again, all right? So you're going to take your feet, arms at your side or on your hips, and you're going to go one into the side and up to the side lunge, two, four, whoops, <laughs> five, I think we're on, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now we're gonna do the left leg, go up to the side and then out, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, a little bit of air boxing, then we're gonna take a little sip of water. We're gonna start air boxing now. So again, slow or as fast as you want, twist at the waist, punch something out, virtually. <laughs> okay, we've got about 10 more seconds. We're gonna go slow. And we're done. Okay, done with that set. Take a little sip of water. Hmm. That's pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to have you use your wall. So there's a nice wall back here. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your back flat against the wall, your feet in front of you a little bit, and you're going to scoot down. And if you have a weight that you brought with you, good. I've got some weights sitting down next to me here. So you're going to take a weight or your bag. Your back is against the wall, and you're going to squat here. And we're going to squat for 30 seconds if you can. We're starting now. If you can't, that's okay. Do the best you can with this. You don't need the weight on your legs if you don't have to have them there. It adds a little bit of extra. But you should feel this flat against your back. You should feel your quads probably aching a smidge. <laughs> okay, we're going to do it for five more seconds. Okay, and then we're gonna inch your way back up, like a little inchworm, put your weight down. And then we're gonna do, basically you're gonna need your um, napkins out and your chair. So you're gonna take your napkin or your dish towel or whatever you got and throw it on the floor. You're gonna take the back of your chair. You're gonna take that napkin and you're gonna put it under your left or your right foot. And then you're going to stay here. We're going to go 10 on one side. And the second set, we're going to do 10 on the left side or the other side. So you're going to take your leg and you're going to stretch it out as far as you can, carefully using that chair. And then pull it back in. That should hurt a little bit. Not too far now. Don't lose your balance. Two. These are called abduction. Three. Four. Turn around this way, maybe you can see me a little differently. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, out to the one side, as far as you can. Pull it back in 10. Okay, remember which side you did it because we're going to switch the next time. And the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna need your weights again. And you're gonna take your weight by your sides. And we are going to do a sidearm raise and a leg back at the same time on the same side. And you're gonna do it 10 times on one side and the next set of exercises you do 10 times on the other. So like this, put your arm out and your leg back. 
That's one. We're going to do this 10 times. This is a back lunge. So sideways, you'd be like this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. And when you're raising that weight, you're not raising it any higher than your shoulder level. Don't want to hurt yourself too badly there. Okay. So that's one set of three. We're going to do a little different cardio this time. If you watched last week's workout, the gal there did something similar. I'm from Seattle. I like to call speed skaters Apollo Onos, for those of you who know who he is. And we're going to step one side and then the other, one and the other, and you can jump through this fast. And I want you to bend at a 30, and you're going to use your arms. I'm going to do this for 30 seconds starting now. These are called speed skaters. So you're going side to side with your legs, and you're doing your arms. Getting arms and legs done, a little bit of cardio. Again, you can do this as fast or as slow as you want. You can hop, not hop. You can do this. Okay, we got five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, back to the top. We're going to go back to the wall. We're going to squat against the wall again. Again, if you have a weight with you, take your weight back against the wall. Slide down a little bit when you're comfy. And 30 seconds starting now. Breathe. <laughs> so your back should be flat against the wall. Your legs parallel to the floor. No more than a 45 degree angle. Oops. Okay. Do it for five more seconds. Lost track of time, sorry. Okay. Inch back up. All right. What we're going to do next are we're going to do the ones with our napkins on the floor. And you're going to use the other side this time. You're going to take that napkin under your right or left leg, under your foot, and you're going to abduct it out as far as you can and back. And the chair's there for support and balance. Don't go too far. <laughs> you won't get back up. Three, four, five, six. Again, you go out to the side. Seven, eight, woo, <laughs> nine, ten, ten. All right, you're done with that one. Next thing we're going to do again is your weights. And you're going to do a side arm raise and put your leg back at the same time. Doing it with my left arm this time. As I said, I've got a shoulder injury there, so I can't lift it up very far, but I do what I can. I'm going to do 10 of these. One, two. You're going to put your leg back like a back lunge. Three, four. Just got confused. <laughs> Five. Balance two, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, and ten back. Got a little confused. Sorry about that. Okay, back to the speed skaters, and then we're going to get down the floor. Okay, so 30 seconds of speed skating starting now. Arms move back and forth, swing kind of like a windmill. Make believe you're Apollo Ana, you're in the Olympics, you're going towards that line. You can go fast, slow, whatever you want right now. Okay, a few more seconds. We'll grab a sip of water, and then we'll get down the ground. On your mat, on your rug. Three, two, one. Okay, you sweating that? I am. 
Mm. Okay. We're going to get down on the ground now on your mat or on your rug, whatever you have there. And I hope you can see me. We did a little test before, so you should be able to see me. We're going to get down on our back. We're going to do some hip bridges, something called fire hiking and donkey kicks. So down we go on our backs. Okay, you're on your back and you're going to put your knees so that you're, they're up in the air and then you're gonna raise your hips up and then down. You can do this 10 times. Two, three, four, five. If you want to, you can take a weight, put it on your hips, but you don't have to do that. Eight, nine, raising those hips. One more time. And 10, hold it for a few seconds. All right, down. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, and I hope you can see me, <laughs> is something called fire hydrants. That's exactly as you suspect it is. I'm gonna do it on each side. Again, we're gonna do one side on this round and another on the next round. You're gonna have like a tabletop position, hands underneath your shoulders, knees bent, and you're gonna lift your legs up like your dog. One, two, three. I'm going to bend around more this way so you can see me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. You do something else, kind of the same position. This one's called donkey kicks. You're going to take your leg and you're going to put it up behind you with your knee bent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, you're going to get on your back again. You're actually going to do air boxing cardio on the floor. So I want you to do this while you're on the floor and count to 10 on each side. So a total of 20-ish, but a little cardio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, you're on your back. You're gonna do those hip bridges. Again, you're on your back flat, knees are bent arms at your side, and you lift your hips up for 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold it for a few seconds. And down. Okay. Now you're going to do those fire hydrants again. Remember those? But you're going to do them on the other side. So again, hands underneath your shoulders, knees bent, and just like a dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, and 10. Okay, now you're gonna do the donkey kicks. Like we talked about before again, on all fours. And you're gonna take that right leg, probably this time for me, and bend it up. One, two, three, make believe your donkey. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, yay. We're done with that set. We're getting pretty close here. We're gonna do one more set of something a little different. And at this one, I'm gonna start with something called Superwoman or Superman. You're gonna lie flat on your mat, arms stretched out in front of you, legs behind, and you're gonna lift your arms and your legs off the mat simultaneously 
like you're flying. We're gonna do this 10 times. Like Superwoman or Superman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whew, and ten. Okay, that's good for your lower back and for your torso in case you haven't picked that up. Next thing we're going to do, I want you to sit with your legs bent, and I want you to make, um, join your hands together like this, and I want you to go side to side. So one, turning at the waist, three, doing 10 of these, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good. Got one more thing to do, and then we'll do a cool down. Um, next thing I want you to do is I want you to lie on your back again. And I want you to think of yourself as a human clamshell. You're gonna have your arms above your head, legs straight out, and you're gonna bend in the middle and have your arms and legs meet each other. Great for the abs, it'll hurt a little bit, but let's do 10 of them, okay? All right, let's go. Arms out, legs out. One, woo. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. Whew. Ten. Whew. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. <laughs> okay. We're going to do the cool down now. Oh, we got a few more minutes. Going to cool down a little bit here. And what I want you to do, it's kind of a yoga position called downward dog, but we're not going to do it in the traditional way. As I mentioned, it hurt my shoulder. So we're going to do it using the chair. I want you to take the chair. I want to kind of push it in front of you like that. So arms out. And I want your arms out straight, your head down. And I want you to feel and stretch your legs. You can feel this in your hamstrings. Okay. Good for your back and your arms. This is a chair downward dog. So you're stretching a little bit. Okay. Good. All right. Next thing we're going to do. You're going to take that chair and I want you to sit and we're going to take your legs and you're going to do a quad stretch. You're going to take your ankle and put it over the knee of your other leg and you're going to stretch and push down a little bit. Helps me. Had some hip surgeries. So I kind of like to do the stretching. Feels really good. All right. Other side. Same thing. That was my last hip surgery. That one's a little tighter. Now you're gonna stretch again. Okay. And I want you to do a little bit of arm stretching overhead. And we started with this a little bit. You're gonna stretch a little bit. You worked your torso a little bit. So I want you to stretch it out. We're cooling down a little bit. We're giving the body a little stretch. Okay. Next thing I want to do is the yoga position also. This is the last thing we're going to do. It's called cat-cow traditionally, but we're going to do this one in our chair. Kind of sit near the edge of your chair. Put your hands on your knees, and I want you to push your shoulders around and push your back back. And then we're going to come in. You're going to look up. You're going to round your back in, arch your back in. And then down again, and arch it out again, and down again. Good. Feel good? I hope so. I want to end with this one last thing, and this is the last thing I want us to do. Um, these are tough times right now, and I'm a hugger, <laughs> and I'm having a hard time not hugging people. 
that I love, except for my husband that I'm living with and my cat. Um, elbow bumps and air fist bumps are hard for me. And Richard Simmons, who sweats it out, was all about loving yourself and loving people. So I want you to take your arms. I want to give you, I want you to give yourself a hug. So take your arms, wrap them around yourself. And I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think of the work you just did and the work that you're doing every day, whether you're involved in the hands-on COVID-19 or whether you're working at a distance or whether you're at home self-quarantining, you deserve a hug. Love yourself. Thank you for all you're doing out there. Have a wonderful day. And now I'm gonna turn it back to Roberta. Thank you so much, Paula, and thank you to all of you for participating in today's workout. I hope you got to sweat it out. I will also be doing today's workout uh, tomorrow when we add it to our YouTube channel. So if you'd like to continue to do this low impact workout, you can visit our YouTube channel tomorrow and continue uh, doing it throughout the week. I would also like to um, have you join us for one of our upcoming digital webinars. We have topics focusing on healthy living, home and garden, university updates, and more. And for a list of those, you can visit our alumni events website at jefferson.edu forward slash alumni events. We have all of those webinars along with our workout Wednesdays that you can register for. And next week, we will be joined for a Zumba workout led by Gina Machado. Our Workout Wednesday series will continue until May 13th, but today in celebration of the series, we will be holding our second social media contest where you can enter to win a Jefferson Rams water bottle. To enter, simply complete two of the following tasks. Follow us on one of our social media channels, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Like our Workout Wednesday post for the day, and in the comments section, tag a Jefferson or Philadelphia University graduate. A little hint for each alumni, no matter what their class year is, that you tag, you'll be entered to win. So each, each tag counts as a separate entry. So the higher your chances are of winning that water bottle. And finally, I'd like to encourage you to go download our Jefferson branded backgrounds from our Facebook pages that you can add to your own Zoom meetings. For now, this is it for today, but I hope to see you all at the same time, same place for our workout next week. And until then, have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you again for joining us. Bye-bye.